Your packages may take a little longer to get to you next month. That's if UPS can't reach a new contract with their delivery drivers. They tell us if that ha can't happen, they'll strike. Channel 3's Rachel Mann spoke with Teamsters about what they say is keeping them from a deal. If a contract isn't in place by the end of July, more than 150 UPS workers in Vermont plan to go on strike. On Friday, they were in Williston letting the company know how they feel. We mean business and that we're not going to take a contract that is lesser than we've had in the past. Tony St. Hilaire, principal of Local 597, says the contract UPS is pushing them to accept is less than their current one. We're looking for better working conditions, uh, higher wages. The group here, we're working up to 12 to 14 hours a day. Ryan Wallace, who's been a UPS driver for six months, says his experience has been okay. But the company classifies employees doing the same work differently, dividing them from within. Right now, I don't have the same protections for the position that I hold um, that the normal delivery package car drivers have, um, which is just totally unfair. You know, but the biggest thing for me is the work-life balance. In a statement to Channel 3, UPS accuses the Teamsters of abandoning negotiations, saying in part... Refusing to negotiate, especially when the finish line is in sight, creates significant unease among employees and customers and threatens to disrupt the U.S. economy. Only our non-union competitors benefit from the Teamsters' actions. We're proud of what we've put forward in these negotiations. Logistics expert Satish Jindal says even in rural Vermont, the Postal Service, FedEx, and UPS's non-union workers should be able to pick up the slack in event of a strike. He adds businesses using UPS for their shipping needs would be hit hardest. They may have to pay a slightly higher price. And two, the service levels that they are used to getting may get affected. Jindal suggests companies prepare by making sure their technology is up to date and by planning rates with other shipping companies. All falls out in August. We're not going to be going on strike. It's going to be UPS putting us on strike. Jindal says last time UPS workers went on strike in 1997, there was some damage to the economy. He says since UPS has lost a share of the market, impacts this time wouldn't be as extreme. In the newsroom, Rachel Mann, Channel 3 News.